Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Shashikant. I am an orthopedic consultant working at uh, Yashoda Hospital Somajiguda. I specialize in uh, knee surgery, predominantly working on uh, knee arthroplasty and knee arthroscopy, which is a keyhole surgery. Today I am going to talk about uh, one particular ligament in the knee, which is called the anterior cruciate ligament. People have uh, been experiencing sports injuries of late and have been injuring a uh, lot of ligaments around the knee. So I thought it would be prudent enough to talk about uh, anterior cruciate ligament, which is the main ligament inside the knee. Before we proceed further, I would like to tell you a ligament is a strong structure in any joint which connects the two bones. So this anterior cruciate ligament connects the two bones of the knee joint, namely the femur and the tibia. And the main function of the cruciate ligament is to give stability to the knee. So any, any injury of the anterior cruciate ligament which is not properly addressed will produce long term instability and can cause problems with the knee in the long term. So if you talk about the why or how the anterior cruciate ligament is injured, the most common cause is uh, when people play contact sports. When there is an abnormal tackle onto the knee, there is a lot of a rotational force in the knee and the first ligament to be injured is usually the anterior cruciate ligament. And what are the symptoms or what are the signs uh, when the patient injures his anterior cruciate ligament? Because uh, the ligament is attached to the bones on both sides, so there is a lot of bleeding inside the knee joint. So patients usually complain of uh, pain, difficulty to weight bear on that knee and on examination there is a lot of swelling in the knee. And when we try to examine the knee, the patient will not be able to bend his knee any further than what the pain allows. So there is restriction of the movement. So anterior cruciate ligament can occur on its own or it can be associated with injuries in other structures of the knee, namely the other ligaments which are around the knee and sometimes it can be associated with damage to the meniscus which is basically a cushion like structure which reduces the friction in the knee joint. So all these things have to be taken care or taken into consideration before we contemplate any management plan. So once the patient is diagnosed clinically with an anterior cruciate ligament, we confirm the diagnosis with some investigations. The most common investigations that are done with any knee injury are an x-ray and an MRI scan of the knee. The advantage of MRI scan is uh, there is no radiation involved in this and uh, it also gives information about the other ligaments in the knee and the other structures that are injured. So as I mentioned before, these associated injuries are very important when we contemplate a management plan. So once we have diagnosed that the patient has an ACL injury, the management plan depends on the other injuries associated with that. So most of the times if it is an isolated ACL injury or only the ACL injury is inju involved, the treatment plan also depends on other factors like patient factors. In the sense, if the patient is a professional athlete or a professional uh, player who wants to go back to sports, usually the line of management will be surgical. But if the injury happens in a middle-aged or an elderly person with uh, no significant uh, physical uh, requirements, the ACL injury can be treated with uh, conservative management without surgery. So those factors are very important and as I mentioned before any associated injuries with the ACL like there are other ligaments in the knee joint like the MCL, PCL and LCL. If the patient has associated ligament injuries apart from ACL then we usually tend to go towards a surgical method. So in terms of uh, ACL injury where we try to go through conservative approach where we try to treat this uh, without surgery, the main line of management will be uh, physiotherapy where the target will be to work on uh, strengthening the quadriceps muscles after the pain and swelling has come down. In spite of conservative treatment if the patient is still feeling uh, symptoms of instability then we usually take him up for surgery. And with regards to the surgical intervention of ACL, the most common way it is dealt with is by an arthroscopic method or a keyhole surgery. And at the same time when we do these operations, if there is any other associated injury with other ligaments or the meniscus, it can be dealt with. So a keyhole surgery or arthroscopic surgery has really revolutionized the management of these ligaments injuries, especially the anterior cruciate ligament injury. 
and with a properly done ACL ligament reconstruction, a patient can go back to his same level of sports activity. And at the same time, if there is any other meniscal injuries, it can also be repaired at the same time or uh, treated according to the criteria. So once an ACL ligament reconstruction is done, uh, the patient usually goes through a, a strict period of rehabilitation, which usually um, goes down to about three to six months before uh, he can probably join back to his sports in about nine months to one year. So in essence, what I would like to say is uh, an anterior cruciate ligament or the ACL is an important structure in the knee joint and it's a very commonly injured ligament. The diagnosis uh, is important and also the management at the right time in the right method is very important to uh, prevent any long-term complications and to make sure that the athlete has a very successful career in the future. Thank you.